Hi everyone, this is Shida from Xi'an Jiao Tong Liverpool University. Today I'm going to talk about our university to you. Um, so during the online presentation, uh, you will know uh, what is Xi'an Jiao Tong Liverpool University and uh, what programs, what courses we offer uh, to our students. Uh, at the end of the presentation, if you have any questions, please come to our booth and uh, talk to our staff online. So who we are, who is exactly Xi'an Jiao Tong Liverpool University? We are a joint venture, a baby university, jointly created by the University of Liverpool from the UK and another Chinese university, which is called Xi'an Jiao Tong University in China. These two universities created our university, um, but we are not in the UK, we are in China, or we are in the city of Suzhou. I will talk about Suzhou, the city, a little bit later. Uh, at the moment, we are the biggest international collaborative university in China. We have around 17,000 students in total. They come from above 90 different countries. In terms of academic stuff, as of 2019, we have over 900 academics from over 50 different countries, and 60% of them are from foreign nationals, from uh, foreign academics. Um, in addition, we have a lot of partner schools, partner universities around the world who send exchange students to our university every year. Uh, this is the list of our partner uh, institutions where they, uh, where they are located. So the list is very long. Uh, we do have partner in Russia, for example. Um, about the city Suzhou. Suzhou is a very, very old city who has a very long history of 2000. 500 years. Uh, but on the other side, it is also very modern. The Suzhou, Suzhou city is on China's east coast. It's very close to Shanghai. So if you take a train from Shanghai to Suzhou or from Suzhou to, to Shanghai, it only takes you around 25 minutes. And uh, there are a lot of trains running every day, every day between the two cities. In terms of economy, uh, until 2019, last year, Suzhou, in terms of GDP, economic size, it is ranked number six in mainland China. So number one is Shanghai, number two Beijing, then Suzhou is number six in terms of GDP in 2019. And uh, Suzhou has a population of around 11 million uh, citizens inside the city who live in the city. Uh, Suzhou has a lot of cultural uh, touristic attractions. As I said before, Suzhou has a very long history back to 2005 years ago. And uh, around the campus, we have a lot of sports facilities. And in Suzhou, a lot of international supermarkets like Walmart from the US, um, Ocean from France, Carrefour from France. And uh, very importantly, we have a lot of Chinese and international restaurants. Uh, this is very good for international students, actually, because on the one hand, they can try Chinese food. But on the, uh, on the other hand, we have a lot of international restaurants. Uh, if they want to change their, 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 their habit. <laughs> and uh, Suzhou also has uh, a lot of shopping malls, uh, supermarkets, cinemas, uh, and very, very importantly, uh, international hospitals and the clinics are very friendly for our international students because as you may know uh, in Chinese public uh, traditional hospitals staff doctors they usually don't speak English so it's very important to have these international hospitals and the clinic clinics well they have uh, staff who can talk to patients in English language so this is very important aspect, I think, for international students who come to study in our university. And uh, the last point is um, Suzhou, as a, again, as a very big, uh, very rich city in China, it has over 5,000 international companies and over 100 Fortune 500 companies. This is uh, very decent for our international students in terms of finding internship, um, or try to find a job after graduation. Uh, why choose our university? 
uh, very important for undergraduate diplomas, for undergraduate courses programs, we offer double degrees. It means for undergraduate students, when they graduate from our university, they will get two degrees, one from the University of Liverpool, the UK, and the second one from Xi'an Jiao Tong Liverpool University from us. So for undergraduate students, double degrees, one from the University of Liverpool, one from us. Um, for postgraduate students, for master students, they will get one degree, but the degree is from the University of Liverpool. One degree, uh, not double degrees for postgraduate. All degree programs are taught 100% in English, and we don't ask for any Chinese language background when students apply to our university. And a uh, very good point is that when you study at our university, when you study at XJTLU, you can learn free of charge Chinese language um, every day, basically. And uh, it's a very friendly international community we have inside the university. Uh, and at Suzhou, again, it's a very modern city with very rich culture and a strong economy. So these are very important for international students when they choose a university to, to study in. Some examples of professional accreditations we have already received um, uh, in the past, like uh, as you can see, AACSB, uh, ACCA, that's for business program, business related programs, IET, ICE, um, Institution of Structural Engineers, uh, that's for engineering related programs, biology, chemistry, RIBA for architecture. Why choose us? International opportunities. We offer two plus two study route, which means that for undergraduate students who choose at who choose to study at our university, they they can choose to do two plus two, which means year one and year two they study at our university in Suzhou. Then year three and year four they can go to the University of Liverpool, UK, to finish their undergraduate degrees. 2 plus 2 is not compulsory. Um, students can freely to choose to do 2 plus 2, or they can also choose to do 4 years totally in, uh, in our university in Suzhou. But no matter, no matter they choose to do 2 plus 2 or 4 plus 0, let's say, they always get double degrees, one from the University of Liverpool and one from us. Uh, and uh, normally at, at the uh, during year three, they also have a lot of study abroad opportunities in our partner institutions around the world. So we have, uh, as I said in the previous slide, we have a lot of international um, universities across across the world. Uh, students can be exchanged to these partner universities to do either one semester or two semesters during their year three uh, as an ex-JTLU student. And the um, university has, so, has also a lot of partner uh, companies in and around Suzhou City. Some example names I can see, as you can see here. HSBC, that's the very big international bank, Standard Char Chartered Bank. Siemens, that's from Germany, a German, um, a German very big company, international. KPMG, that's accounting Alstom from France, Schneider, ICPC. Why choose us in terms of career related figures? So that's a very fresh figure coming out. Uh, we did a survey for 2019 graduates, bachelors and the masters. So that's the figures from last year. Uh, as you can see, around 86.5% of 2019 graduates, UG and PG together, they planned to continue their studies in world famous universities for masters or PhD programs. Around one third of them entered world top 10 universities. That's by 2020 QS world university ranking. And around 77% of them entered world top 100 universities. Again, 2020 QS university ranking. And among the, these 2019 graduates, around 15% of them started working directly in companies after their studies. And around 15% of them, they worked in Fortune 500 companies 
in China or in the world. And uh, here below is some example names of the big companies where our 2019 graduates went to as a job destination, like Bosch, Uber, Amazon, IBM, Microsoft, uh, KPMG, Schneider, Hire. During uh, when students study at our university, they will get a lot of uh, support um, academic, academically and non-academically. Uh, they, they will get academic service, service from academics, from, pro, uh, from professors, from lecturers, and uh, they will get language support during their studies, like um, because everything is taught in English, so we'll, they will have uh, uh, EAP, which is English for academic purpose, so they will learn the module, which is the module to help them to better adapt to the program uh, modules, to the, to, to the, to the pro pro program no knowledge. We also have student counseling, so in case students miss their home or students have some kind of mental uh, psychological mental issues uh, mental problems uh, we have dedicated staff students can talk to we also have one stop student service center which is uh, is a is a very big office so that's the first contact point when students have any questions they can go to that student one stop service center and ask stuff uh, in that in that center and uh, very importantly for local Chinese and international students. We have now um, above 120 student associations and clubs uh, in a lot, a lot of fields, sports, language, uh, academic related, related uh, studies, music, etc. A lot of them. Uh, we have above 120 of these clubs now running at our university. And we also have very importantly, a career service department uh, which is a which is a department to help students to find internship or if they want to find a job and uh, they can also help them. For international students, these these services we only offer to our international students. So um, uh, accommodation booking, which means that when an international when an international students uh, paid when an international student paid their deposit. So they are accepted, then pay, they pay 10,000 Chinese yuan as a deposit, then their place is secured out of university, then we will send them a link. They, they can book accommodation online. Before they come, they can book accommodation online with that link we send to them. And uh, every academic year, generally it's uh, around August or September, university will have induction, a welcome week. So that week we will help in, uh, international students to register, uh, yeah, to find their find their rooms, to register within the university, pay the rest of the tuition fees, and um, collect the te collect the textbooks, etc. So that all happens during that welcome week. We also offer free airport pickup. So every year uh, we go to the two airports in Shanghai. We will pick international students from the airports in Shanghai will take them from Shanghai to Suzhou. It's free of charge. They only need to give us the flight number, flight, uh, the number of, uh, of uh, suitcases, then we will sign you up in the list. Then on the day, we will pick you up uh, free from the airports in Shanghai to Suzhou to your accommodation. We also offer visa assistance uh, and the financial information like a uh, uh, like tuition fees, etc. If you have any questions about your tuition fees, about any fees related to to to, accom uh, to tuition, to to accommodation, you can talk to us. And we also offer medical, uh, basic medical insurance for our degree uh, students. Okay, uh, about the studies, about the pathways we have at the university. These are the eight academic schools and the one uh, university entrepreneur college, which is a new campus. Uh, well, as you can see, we cover pretty much all fields of studies from business to, to film, to science, humanities, social science, to languages. We also have design school. We have uh, technology uh, school. This is the list um, of 
all of our bachelor's programs. So a lot of them. So feel free to take a picture or you can click the link at the bottom of the slide to go to the link to have a closer look after the presentation. Again, feel free to take a picture. Uh, XJTLU Taitsan Entrepreneur College. So this is a new campus which is under construction at the moment in the city of Taitsan, which is on the on the north of Shanghai. Again, it's it's even closer to Shanghai than than the main campus. Um, it's in the city of Taitsan. At the moment, it's still under construction, but we have already had the, the first intake students this year, this September 2020. So what happened for these students is that they do their classes at our current campus in Suzhou. And when the new campus, when the Taitsan Entrepreneur College is completed, they will go to Taitsan to finish their programs. Uh, the completion year is around 20, uh, 2022. And at the moment, we offer six undergraduate uh, programs at this uh, new campus. This is the whole list of our master's programs we offer at our university. Again, feel free to take a picture. Okay, apart from degree programs, we also have short courses. Uh, we have Chinese language classes for international students. If they want to just to come to our university to learn Chinese, it is possible. We have Chinese language spring courses. You have the date from February to June 2021. Uh, we also have Chinese language autumn course. Uh, the dates for the next year is still uncertain, but we will let you know in due course when we have the information from university. The third one is a short two-week summer business course re related to China's economy. So if you are a business student or if you are you know, interested in... Uh, China's economy, China's economic development, uh, economic situation. Uh, and if you have time in summer, you can come to do this course uh, during two weeks in 2021. Uh, okay, sorry. For study abroad op opportunities, again, as I mentioned uh, previously, during year three, of your studies at our university, you can choose to do either one, mes one semester mm -hmm. or one year in one of our partner universities. It's, it's, it's not compulsory. Uh, you can do it if you want to. If you don't want to, if you don't want to do, uh, do the study abroad, like go to our overseas partner universities for one semester or one year, that's fine. You can study four years at our university. That's no problem. Um, we also have summer abroad programs, which means instead of doing one semester or one year, you can be exchanged to our exchange, to our overseas partner for one summer. So doing summer school at our partner institutions. Okay, some pictures of our university. As you can see, it's very it's very modern. Our university was established in two thousand six. It's a very young university, but very British, very Western. That's inside the library. This one is uh, South Campus, North Campus, Central Building, the cube. The building looks like a cube. In the middle is our Central Building where the library is. Campus, labs and the teaching facilities. That's sports facilities, university restaurants, uh, accommodation. Okay, if you want more accommodation related information, please come to our booth to talk to us uh, one to one. Or you can go to uh, university website. This is the, uh, a very general picture of the accommodation options we offer to our international students. Again, feel free to take a picture because you know it's quite detailed information here and um, take a picture. Or you can save the link um, and you can click the link after the presentation to have a closer look uh, at the accommodation related information. So that's the key part, uh, admissions and fees. The entry requirement for undergraduate applicants. So we need you, uh, we have two different options. 
you can be accepted under year one or year two. For Russian applicants, if you are do, if you are study if you are now studying in a high school in Russia, you we need to have minimum four average in your high school grades. Now that's the minimum, of course, the minimum uh, entry criteria. Of course, the better the higher grades you have, the better chance you will have to be accepted. Uh, the second option option is that we offer to our international students direct entry into year two possibility, which means that if you are a student study in the international high school curriculum, like A level or IB or advanced placement or SAT, if you are study these international high school curriculum and if you can meet the entry criteria written on this slide. Like if, if you are, for example, if, if you are studying now A level, you can get BBB as a minimum grade. You can be accepted onto year two directly, which means you can save one year time and one year money. But of course, you have to meet these criteria written here. Feel free to take a picture. Uh, for language, for English language part, because we teach everything in English, so when we need our uh, um, bachelor's applicants to meet certain level of English language um, a requirement to be accepted for year into for entry into year one, when we need IELTS 5.0 or TOEFL 62 internet based test. For year entry into year two, we need IELTS which is higher 6.5 or TOEFL 90. Again, internet based the test. For for all the information, you can always click. There's there's always a link at the bottom of every slide. So feel free to go to the university website to have a closer look at the entry requirements. For entry requirements for master's programs, okay, that require that requirements vary from program to program for master's level. So what you need to do is go to the university website and click masters so you will see the whole list of our masters programs click the one that you are the one or the ones you are interested in then you will go to the program web page in the program web page web page you will know the specific entry criteria for that program that you are interested in generally speaking we ask for uk upper second class which is known as Two one, you know, it's between. So you have to get six uh, percent to sixty nine percent in your bachelor's level, and when you graduate, you will have the UK upper second class. Um, for English language uh, requirement for masters programs, um, it varies. Again, uh, you need to go to the. You can click the link at the bottom to know uh, the details. Uh, of what 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 language what like in terms of IELTS what what is the IELTS score we need you to have for a specific master's program you need to click that link uh, the program link to know the English language requ requirement for every program every master's program a very important point about a master's program is that if you miss the IELTS band for 0 0.5 or 1.0 below below the entry criteria uh, entry criteria for that specific master's program, you can still be accepted in that case if you miss 0 0.5 or 1 point, but you need to do a precessional English course during summer. If you pass this precessional English course in summer, you can go to your master's programs directly. But of course, the best case is that you meet the, the master's program uh, IELTS uh, English score, so you, do, you don't need to do precessional English course in this case. How to apply? Everything is online, so we have online application platform, and the application is totally free of charge. You need to, based on uh, whether you apply for bachelor's or master's, that's the uh, document checklist. Uh, you can take a look. Uh, so, generally speaking, we need to have uh, transcripts, high school or university transcripts translated into English. We need to have English language certifi uh, certificate like IELTS or TOEFL. And we need to have write. We need to write a personal statement or around one page. And for master's programs, we also need to have uh, two reference letters, 
and uh, of course your ID card and a portfolio and an interview is required for four bachelor's programs. Uh, this is very important for 2021 academic year. The application deadline is different for UG and PG. For bachelor's, it's 30th June 2021. For master's, it's 15th June 2021. Very two important dates to bear in mind when you apply, if you want to apply to our university. Um, about the tuition fees, from, for bachelor's level, it's 88,000 Chinese yuan, which is about 13,000 uh, US dollars per academic year. For master's tuition fees, again, it varies from program to program. It's between Chinese yuan uh, 120,000 to, to 192,000 Chinese yuan for the whole master's program duration. So a master, a full-time master's program is typically 18 months, one year and uh, one year and a half for a full-time master's at our, at our university. Um, for a specific program, master's program tuition fee, again, you need to go to university website to have a check because it varies uh, um, from program to program. And for short courses, here is the tuition fee for Chinese language semester course, spring autumn. That's 9,500. And for the short business two week summer course, it's 8,000. We do have scholarship options. Uh, we offer entry scholarship for undergraduate and master's programs from 10% to 50%. The highest is 50%. So let's say if you are a very good student uh, in high school uh, or um, in university, last year in university, with a very good academic results, and you apply to the scholarship during uh, online application, you can get maximum 50% off your tuition fee. And we also have academic merit scholarship, which means that for undergraduate students, for example, if you get 50% entry, scholar, entry scholarship uh, and your academic performance continues to be within top 25% of all students in your program, you can carry the 50% scholarship onto year two, year three, and year four. 50% is an example here. So if you get like a 40% entry scholarship, and if you've managed to, to be within top 25% of all students in your program, you can carry the 40% scholarship onto year two, year three, and year four. This is for uh, master's students, Sorry, for bachelor students and for master students, we have friendship scholarship, which means that we um, you have to go to the, the you have to click the link to go to the university website. Um, we have um, we have a list of friendship countries. So if you are an applicant from one of those countries, and uh, if you apply for the scholarship, uh, you can get thirty percent discount off your tuition fee, uh, of your master's tuition fee. And for a master program. Which uh, whose name is sustainable construction for this specific master's program, we have 100% discount. Uh, this is the only master's program we offer 100 discount for our students. Uh, that that discount is from Chinese government. Uh, places are limited, so please um, please apply early. Discounts. So for bachelor students, for bachelor's applicants. If you apply and accept the offer, either conditional offer or unconditional offer, before the 1st of May 2021, you will automatically get 8,000 Chinese yuan early bird discount. You don't need to apply for it. It's automatic. So very important, apply early to get this um, early bird discount. And uh, again, for this early bird discount, you will get it every year, not just one year. Every year you have 8,000 Chinese yuan. And some other discounts, I won't read it one by one. So feel free to take a, a picture at this slide or go to, again, go to university website to have, a, to have a look for scholarships and discounts we have for international applicants. Um, this is uh, where you can uh, contact us. You can write to international. That's the 
uh, inquiries for and applications. If you have any questions about inquiries, uh, applications, feel free to write to this email address, or you can write to me directly at this email address or call me at this number. Uh, thank you very much.